Ever pondered over what the future holds for audio engineering? The possibilities are thrilling and endless. Right now, we're in an era of unprecedented innovation and creativity. Advances in technology are enabling us to push boundaries in sound production, taking us beyond the realms of what was once thought possible. We're witnessing the rise of powerful, specialized techniques, transforming the way we extract, process, and render sounds. From audio restoration to creative sound design, there's a wave of change surging through the industry. Imagine if we could work with more than just amplitude against time. What if we could manipulate frequency against time, superimposed with the amplitude of any given frequency? A new dimension in audio engineering is emerging, one that's set to revolutionize the way we experience sound. What if I told you that a revolutionary concept is already reshaping the future of audio engineering? Welcome to the world of mixturing, a term coined by the renowned mixing and mastering engineer Edward Vinatea. Mixturing is a revolutionary concept that's reshaping the landscape of audio engineering. It's an amalgamation of two critical processes, mixing and mastering. But it's not just a simple merger, it's a radical reinvention that's pushing the boundaries of sound production. At the heart of mixturing, we find Edward Vinatea, a trailblazer in the audio engineering industry. Always seeking to innovate, Vinatea fused the intricate art of mixing with the precise science of mastering. The result? Mixturing. A hybrid approach that allows for a more unified, seamless process in the creation of high-quality audio. A cornerstone of mixturing is the concept of mixing by stems. Imagine an audio track as a tree. The stems are its branches, each one representing a different element of the track. We're talking about the voice, drums, bass, guitar, keyboards, each an individual stem. In mixturing, these stems are first extracted, then processed, and finally rendered as a new stereo master. It's a meticulous process, but one that allows for an exceptional level of control and precision over the final output. But mixturing isn't static. It's a dynamic, evolving entity. It's constantly adapting, morphing and improving to keep pace with the rapid advances in technology and the ever-changing demands of the audio industry. And it's this continual evolution that's pushing mixturing into exciting new territories, like the emerging field of spectral layers editing. So, what's the bottom line? Mixturing is more than just a buzzword or a fancy technical term. It's a paradigm shift in audio engineering. It's the future. And it's here now. Mixturing, a paradigm shift in audio engineering, is more than just a term. It's a game changer. In the fast-paced world of mixturing, a unique technique is gaining traction, unmixing a stereo mix file into several spectral layers. This technique, known as spectral unmixing, is changing the game in audio engineering. It's not just about mixing anymore, it's about diving deeper, peeling back the layers of sound to reveal a rich tapestry of audio elements. Imagine being able to isolate every note in a symphony, every beat in a drum solo, every breath in a vocal performance. That's the power of spectral unmixing. But what makes unmixing so revolutionary? It's the ability to dissect a stereo mix file into its individual components. We're not just talking about separating the bass from the treble, but breaking down the audio into its spectral layers. This offers unprecedented control over the sound, enabling engineers to fine-tune each element to perfection. What's more, unmixing has a wide range of applications beyond music production. It's proving to be a vital tool in audio restoration, where damaged or degraded audio files can be rejuvenated by isolating and enhancing their spectral layers. It's also a boon for sound designers who can use unmixing to create unique soundscapes and effects. In vocal and instrument isolation, unmixing is a game changer. It allows for the separation of individual voices or instruments from a complex mix, making it easier to balance levels, tweak tones and create a cleaner, more polished sound. And let's not forget forensic audio analysis. In a field where clarity is paramount, the ability to isolate and enhance specific audio elements can be the key to deciphering unclear or obscured recordings. As we delve deeper into the world of mixturing, it's clear that unmixing is more than just a new technique. It's a revolution, a new way of thinking about sound. And its potential is only just beginning to be explored.
So as we look to the future, it's clear that unmixing is not just a trend. It's the future of mixturing. It's the next step in our auditory evolution, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in audio engineering, and we're just getting started. Spectral layers editing is a powerful, specialized technique that is set to be a staple in mainstream music production. Imagine the standard waveform-based editing as a two-dimensional map of your audio, illustrating the peaks and troughs of amplitude against time. Now let's switch gears and delve into the concept of spectral layers editing. Picture this as a three-dimensional landscape, a terrain of your sound, where time and frequency are your ground coordinates and amplitude is the height, the altitude of your sonic features. Spectral layers editing is an approach that transforms the way we perceive and interact with audio. Instead of dealing with the audio in its amplitude time format, we're now diving deep into the frequency time dimension, giving us a whole new level of control and precision. Now, why is spectral layers important in mixturing? Well, it allows for a more detailed and nuanced manipulation of the stereo mix file. You're not just dealing with a single unified track anymore. Instead, you're working with several spectral layers, each containing different elements of your mix. This means you can isolate and process individual instruments, vocals or other sound elements with an unprecedented level of precision and flexibility. The beauty of this technique is its versatility. Not only is it a powerful tool for music production, but it also has potential applications in audio restoration, creative sound design, vocal or instrument isolation, and even forensic audio analysis. To make it even more exciting, most spectral editors in mixturing offer a 3D representation of your audio. This gives you a perspective view on the amplitude dimension, adding depth and dimension to your sonic landscape. It's like having a bird's eye view of your audio with the ability to zoom in, navigate and manipulate your sound in ways that were once deemed impossible. In essence, spectral layers editing is not just a tool. It's a new language, a new way of understanding and interacting with sound. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of mixturing, opening up a world of possibilities that were previously out of reach. Spectral layers editing is set to redefine mixturing and the broader audio engineering landscape. As we navigate through the exciting world of mixturing, there's still so much more to uncover. We've journeyed through the fascinating landscape of this innovative approach to audio engineering, and we're only just beginning. The next chapter in mixturing promises to be even more thrilling as we delve into the use of a specific software that's set to revolutionize the field. This software, whose name we'll reveal in our next video, is a game changer. If you want to know who created this software, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. It's been designed from the ground up with mixturing in mind, integrating seamlessly into the workflow. It's not just about making mixturing easier, but about expanding the very boundaries of what's possible. Imagine a tool that enables you to manipulate spectral layers with a precision and ease that was previously unthinkable. That's what's on the horizon. The potential impact of this software on mixturing is immense. It could enable producers to achieve a level of sonic detail and clarity that outstrips anything we've seen before. It could open up new creative avenues, empowering artists to craft unique soundscapes that push the envelope of contemporary music. And it could democratize mixturing, making this sophisticated technique accessible to a broader range of audio engineers. But it's not just about the software. It's about the people who use it. It's about you. The possibilities are as vast as your imagination. With this software in your arsenal, you could be at the forefront of the mixturing revolution, shaping the future of audio engineering. You could be the one to redefine the sound of music. The future of mixturing is unfolding and it's more exciting than we could have ever imagined. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll unravel another piece of the mixturing puzzle. Leave us a comment telling us what you would like to see on the next EV Sonic Lab video upload. And please do share this video with anyone you know who is interested in audio.